These are my first amendments in this new parliament, and um, I, I'm pleased to say that um, uh, it, it's a real pleasure to be speaking on transport, which is something I've always enjoyed. And I'm absolutely thrilled because this is the first time ever in 11 years that the opposition minister has signed an amendment of mine. And here I've got four amendments signed, and I'm just over the moon about that. I'm, um, I'm, I'm so pleased that now the Conservatives are in opposition, they see the, the good sense in what I'm saying. Now, um, the Green Party has long supported the public ownership of rail, along with other natural monopolies like the NHS and like water, and we do therefore support this bill. Now, I'm told to say that the purpose of my amendments is to probe the government's plans on devolving control of the railways once they're in public ownership. Really, I don't want to probe. I would just like the noble Lord the Minister to tell me today that he's going to accept my amendments. And if he, if he possibly could, I'd be so pleased. It would just be a highlight of my already very exciting day. Now, uh, Greens are very keen on subsidiarity, making sure that ownership and power are devolved to the lowest possible and most practical level. And this point seems especially important given the emerging devolution agenda. Can the noble lord, the minister, tell me, will rail be involved in those plans, the devolution plans, or remain the property of the UK <coughs> government as this bill currently sets out? Now, uh, my light touch amendments would at least keep the door open to councils and combined authorities working together to run or oversee the railways within their areas. There's hope for a public transport revolution under this government. But the only way we'll get people out of their cars and onto public transport is if it's integrated and easy for them to get from where they are to where they want to go, and then back again, perhaps much later at night. So can the noble Lord the Minister please reassure me that the publicly owned rail companies will work in tandem with transport authorities all over the all over. Uh, the system to uh, make sure that bus services are integrated, bus timetables even are integrated into train timetables. How is this system being designed to ensure cooperation between different parts of the network so that buses and trains can run on linked timetables, for example? Um, the Noble Lord Minister, um, in a conversation we had some time ago, did say to me that the uh, train line that I use um, on a weekly basis, South West Rail is the worst in Britain. Could he expand on that, please? Because I'd be interested to know how that's going to get improved. Um, and finally, uh, as a Green, I would be thrilled to work with government on this exciting public transport agenda. And I know that my honourable friend, uh, Sean Burry MP, raised these points in the other place. And I do look forward to... Uh, this particular minister taking an incredibly practical view of the whole thing and making sure that he isn't corralled by the Labour government into doing things that he knows are wrong.